Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Bruni guys, another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to speed farm with the new update in Season 5. So basically, if you guys don't know, they changed up speed farming in this game. So if you don't know what that is, you see a lot of the pros do it where they swing their pickaxe twice simultaneously. Like, it's extremely quick, but you're able to farm materials a lot quicker, break down walls a lot quicker. So a lot of pros are doing this, like Nick A30, uh, Tifu, all these pros are doing this technique. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it on PC and console as well so this is going to be step by step so that way you guys don't miss anything so first thing we want to cover is go to your locker you're going to want to change this item right here now of course you can use the wave emote but a lot of the pros have switched from the wave emote and they've switched over to one of these things where you you, you know where you throw up like I guess these are emoticons, what they call them. So they throw up emoticons. I like using positivity close bracket, the open bracket plus sign close bracket for uh, support my boy uh, CDN the third. So this is the one I'm gonna use. You have to have that in your first slot. I, it does suck. So whenever you're here and you want to emote, all you can do is that with your friends and stuff like that. But it's okay because it does make you a little bit better of a player. Now that we have the first step taken care of and out of the way, next thing we want to do is go to our settings, come over to our key binding input tab and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says right here locker emote slot one two three four you want to go to the first one click on that and then right click right click is going to be the one that you want to do so this is basically how it's going to work i'll explain why we did this here in a second but once we finish that we're good to go let me uh actually max my frame rate so that way it'll be a little bit better and then let's get into a game so i can show you guys exactly what it looks like and how it's done so now that we're in this lobby the reason we changed the locker emote one to the right click is because as you guys can see if i right click it automatically does it i don't have to go to my little scrolling wheel thing and click on it, I can literally just right click and it'll automatically emote for me, automatically. Let's try to go to a close off uh, space that no one else would really go. I think I'm gonna go to the mansion house, just because I don't think, actually, you know what, it's the first stop, let's not go there. Let's try to go somewhere farther. Uh, let's say we can go, let's go Fatal Fields. I haven't been Fatal Fields in a while, guys. If you please can, this video helps you out and you actually learn how to do it with this video. Again, practice makes perfect, so make sure to practice. Um, you guys are going to get a lot better at it. Share, share this with your friends. Give this video a thumbs up. It, it does help support the channel, and I appreciate that more than anything, you guys. But first off, I'm going to have to try to make sure that I'm the only one coming over here. Looks like there's two other people coming here. Um, three maybe? Three people coming to Fatal Field. So hopefully I can win this town over. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here to the rocks. Um, and I'll show you guys how it's done. Actually, I'll go over here. I can show you guys how it's done over here in this section. So first off, what we want to do is, let me just show you what it looks like. So there you guys have it. That is what it looks like right there. It's a very quick thing. You farm a lot faster than normal. It's a very good thing. Again, all the pros are doing it because it is a lot better to do it like this rather than just normal farming because you can break things a lot quicker it, it just makes everything more fast paced in the game i'm going to show you guys exactly how it's done and what it looks like again sometimes you're going to mess up uh it does take practice to make perfect you'll see me mess up a few times but it's okay because i'm still learning and practicing as we go as, as well as you guys you know everything's all about learning and getting better at things but this is basically what you want to do let me let me take these shields let me go find like a tree or something like that that i can break and i'll show you guys exactly how it's done all right now that we are over here by some trees i want to show you guys exactly what is what you're supposed to do so step one you swing step two you want to right click which is emote now the second you emote you want to crouch to cancel that emote first you could try doing it by practicing by emoting and crouching like as you see i'm about to reach in my back pocket and then i crouch and it cancels it that's exactly what you want to do you want to be able to cancel the emote by crouching so you're going to want to swing emote cancel Swing, emote, cancel. That's what you want to do. And then once you do that, you swing again instantly. So it's going to be a swing, emote, cancel, swing. Exactly like that. And the faster you get at it, you're going to be able to do a lot better. So again, swing, emote, cancel, swing. And then once you get better and better, you're not going to have to sit there and think about it. It's literally one motion where it looks like... It looks like that, where it's just extremely quick. Sometimes you're going to mess up and it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this where you, you actually swing emote and then you're stuck there for a second but again it just takes practice even nick a30 still to this day right now of making this video he still makes the mistake every once in a while of doing that but it's okay because it, not everybody's perfect you're gonna learn it at your own pace but that is exactly how you do it you guys you can only do it with these emotes any other dancing emote is going to be a lot more difficult so my suggestion is to make it 
any one of these emoticons you can do the wave that's how people did it back then back then you didn't have to crouch to cancel it out but because of with the season update they made it so you have to actually crouch cancel which does suck but it is a little bit more difficult so it takes a little bit more skill than it used to but you guys are going to be able to do it <coughs> but with that being said let me go over to console and i'll show you guys how it's done over on the console side But I want to tell you guys one quick tip on how I learned it really quick and learned it to get a little bit better at it is I literally crouched the whole time I was swinging. So literally while I'm swinging, I'm just crouching multiple times and it really helps out. Um, sometimes you will mess up, but it does help you so that way you're not getting shot and you're also practicing how to crouch while farming at the same time. So it does get you a little bit better. Um, just try to, instead of just crouching once, try to crouch twice, you guys. Try to Try to crouch down, crouch up. Plus, it looks a lot better. It looks it looks more professional. It looks like you actually know what you're doing. And then if you're jumping every once in a while, too, it looks really good, you guys. All right, you guys. So now that we're on console, if you guys can't tell already, we are on console. This is how you do it here. Now, exactly the same setup when it comes to the emote. You want to have, uh, I guess, one of the emoticons as one of your first slots in the game. We're going to try and land somewhere, like I guess, like out of the ordinary. I guess, motel we can go, so that way people don't end up coming over to us. But the one thing on console that's different is you do not change anything over here because we can't unless we attach keyboard and mouse, but we need to be on Combat Pro. You can do it on Builder Pro, but Combat Pro makes it extremely easy. It's extremely easy on build or Combat Pro. Builder Pro, it can be done. It's really, really difficult on Builder Pro, but again, it can be done. It just takes practice. I can't perfect it on Builder Pro yet, but on Combat Pro, it is extremely easy. So if you still play on Combat Pro, Good news is you can actually speed farm, turbo farm, whatever you guys want to call it, and it's actually really easy. So um, on Builder Pro, the reason this is is because for some reason, Combat Pro allows you to emote with the by pushing left on the D-pad. So as you guys can see, I've just pushed left on the D-pad and it allows me to emote automatically. I don't have to go open up my whole wheel bracket thing right here, but on like Builder Pro, you have to open this up, do that, and then do it. So it is a little bit more difficult, but on here, I just swing push left on the d-pad crouch to cancel it swing again so it's going to be extremely the same exact steps uh it's just going to be ext done extremely fast to so practice again swing emote crouch to cancel it that's what you want to practice on first practice on swing emote crouch so that way it looks like he reaches in his back pocket but then he he cancels it out by crouching so again this is what it looks like swing swing emote crouch swing emote crouch you could do it from sitting down to as well as well swing emote crouch and you just practice that. And then once you get that down, you're able to do the next step, which is swing, emote, crouch, swing. And you got to do it all simultaneous, all quick. So it looks like this. And that's exactly what it looks like, you guys. You can constantly do it. Um, again, now the thing is, is with this, with turbo building and speed farming, you cannot turbo building, turbo farming and speed farming, you can't do it every swing. So you have to swing once. You have to, you can do it your first swing. Swing once and then you can do it again after that. So you can't do it every single swing. Can't be a, a double swing. It has to be in between each swing. So, so what I like to do is on my first swing when I'm swinging from right to left, that's when I like to do it. And then this swing's normal and then I do it again like that. It looks extremely quick, you guys. It, it actually does help out a lot. Again, sometimes you may mess up, but it is possible on console on Builder Pro. Uh, it, it's really difficult. Uh, again, I suggest doing it on Combat Pro. If you really want to speed farm, th there are some perks that come with it. And that is being able to break things a lot quicker. If you're, if you're pickaxe fighting somebody, you can actually kill them a lot quicker as well. So it makes things a little bit easier. But the thing that sucks is we're back to Combat Pro. So I know some of you guys don't like Combat Pro uh, for many reasons. Builder Pro is a lot better uh, when it comes to being able to build extremely fast. But guys, this is the best way to do it. If you play on Combat Pro, I want to suggest learning how to do that because you might as well get the best of it. Uh, let me show you guys Builder Pro what it looks like. It's a really hard. Um, you got to swing. Oh, push down on the D-pad so you can open up your wheel. Push up X. 
crouch, swing again. There's a lot to it. So it's it's literally R2, if you're on PS4, R2, down, up, X, crouch, R3, R2 again. So there's a lot of button pushing when it comes to it, but it can be done, as you guys can see right there. It can be done. It just takes a little bit more practice. It is a little bit more harder. Sometimes you will mess up. But it can be done, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate the likes. More anything, share this with your friends so that way your friends can know that it is possible to do. Um, and guys, again, thank you for all the love, all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.